the Granger, poke way too hard for Slovenia to deal with. Ladies and gentlemen, back into the land of dawn between Slovenia and the Philippines. Will the Philippines get their redemption or will Slovenia actually overturn the odds? Let's get straight into it, Momo-chan. Let's go and uh, look at the Fila Luna. Play a little bit aggressive Ooh. here with the frame shot that comes from that Diggy. But unfortunately, Fila Luna is still able to survive. Not quite enough, but very low. The HP bars from Villa Luna that shows the aggression that Slovenia is willing to bring to the table. But right here, we have a bit of a skirmish already. Aggressive moves from Dap Dap, and he is being punished for it. Although, with the current situation, I think it's going to be a bit difficult. Rodel Rosario, though, on this Granger, as you mentioned, Momo chan, mm -hmm. the base damage definitely gives him an edge in the early game clear. And I think that will amount to a bit of an EXP advantage if we get all the way to the late game. Oh yes, you know, it reminds me with the two marksman meta, like the old times. Good I think old like times. I think like season, I don't know, MPL season. Five, six? Five? I think four maybe? Four even. Yeah, it's it's, it's very it was very long time already, but we will see. The Philippines, Ooh. they are very, very confident with this strategy and Boni needs to go back with the... Ooh, Desonata actually yes. sets up that kill and they're not done just yet. Four members right under the turret and Boni will be the main target and he will get taken out. This is the Philippines with the superior rotations, having four against one. Uncharacteristically, but the turtle seems to be targeted by Slovenia instead. Yeah, I think uh, Slovenia, they want to get this. They have to get this uh, turtle though. Meanwhile, oh, Padap pada, is going to be the target that can be taken down by Slovenia. Because he tried to contest it. One versus three. Tries to make the outplay happen there from Dap to Dap, but it won't be enough. The purple buff gets taken away by the Philippines as well. So now, they have a lot more options to play around and the jungle pick for the side of Slovenia is going to struggle quite a bit. But look at the damage coming in. That is a lot of oh. damage and it will be secured as well. Pure aggression coming in from the side of the Philippines. Yes, the dead Sonata almost eat Clyde alive, but Clyde's still able to survive and still able to recall going back to the base right now and try to reset it, everything. Meanwhile, Dup I think he needs to, you know, trying to clear the lane as soon as possible because we know how long Frederin to clear the lane, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, that Padap actually he he has the advantage here. So if he want if he wants to make the rotation, I think it's, it's gonna be easy for the Padap and Bonnie. Ooh. It's gonna be the the prior target here from Philippines because they know how strong Popo Cooper, right? Exactly. Into the mid and the late game situation. In the meantime, on the other side of the map, Dapadap has all the mobility to survive from these ganks. So we talked about how the Diggy might be used for a babysit strategy, but Bonnie is not having a good Oof. time at all. And in the mid side, Time Journey has been popped up, and now that won't be available for any of the members. It is actually a stolen one used by Ima uh, Imam on the mid lane. Mm -hmm. and the Philippines are going hardcore on this top side. Yeah, I think they want to play really fast just by, you know, get the all up, get all the objective as soon as possible for Philippines. They don't want to, they don't want to drag this game into the late game. You know how, uh, how scary Freya as well into the late game, right? He could be, yep. he could be very very strong. He could be the first, uh, the frontliner mm. for Slovenia as well. I'm sure, fight starts to break out. The Philippines are going in, but you can see the first victim is going to be Clyde on the diggy. It's a double kill for Sorano. That will be Nissan falling down in the same time. And the purple buff yet again is denied away from the hands of the Slovenians. Yeah. And just like that, Nibur's passion in the mid side. The pressure, the wave management from the Philippines is benefiting them so much. Yeah, we didn't see much um, maybe war between these two teams because Philippines, they want to play really objectively right now and slovenia most of the draft here are going into mid until the late game right mm -hmm. like this freya but look at that those are you trying to a little bit forcing himself in the mid lane doing a lot of damage clyde nearly gets taken out but look at the flank coming in from arachio this will benefit them so much that is del rosario taken out disaster as the next target is going to be villa luna she makes it out of life from that situation though but the serrano Double kill and actually continuing with that Nibiru. That's a lot of damage. You have to see how the items are here, but they are still not done just yet. The snipe is used, but it will Ooh. connect. That's a monster kill for Serrano. 
and the Philippines are able to take out three members for the price of none, I believe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It looks very, very comfortable for Philippines. Like, uh, if they keep their tempo like this, not trying to force themselves too much, I think they still can get this game. But Rimuru having a one versus two, two situation here, but Dapa Dap, oh, still able to survive or not, but no, he's going back with the Phantom Slash and oh, oh my god! Imam with the stolen time journey saves the life of Dapadap and that is a disaster. They spent so much time and in exchange they actually lost Bonnie. Yet again, Sorano is a absolute menace right now with Oof. the Malefic War. These snipes are gonna do so much damage and that will not Oh my god, that will not be a damage that Visao can actually take. And they're not done yet. Rimuru is the next target, and that's the Death Sonata being used. That's Imam securing the kill. And Philippines will continue their aggression. They're not backing away at all as Arachiel gets taken out. And the first base tower will be still standing for now. Yeah, it's like mm, maybe how much 9k gold lead? Is it 9k? Yeah, 9k gold lead by Philippines team here. So I think it's kind of a little bit hard for, for Slovenia. They don't have much space here to get their farm. And look at the item. Did Digi only have this dominant eyes? Meanwhile, from Zoriano, he already secured his Blood of Despair and Fury Hammer with the Malefic Roar for the attack penetration. That's a lot of damage comparatively. Popa and Koopa, not even the first BOD completed. Yep. Now, that's Sonata yet again used for that engage, and Clyde is taken out just like that. He won't be able to save any of his teammates as the Philippines move for the base turret, but they back away. This is that discipline as Imam makes bold moves around the map. Yeah, he needs to copy that um, time journey from Clyde, and now the Oof. minion comes in in the bottom lane. Now all of the players from Slovenia need to maybe take back off a little bit. They have to, you know, try to defend their base before Philippines end this game. They have to try and find some kind of pickoff because against two marksmen, that's a lot of range first of all, and that is a lot of DPS, especially the longer the game goes. Yes, Granger isn't exactly a hyper carry in the late game, but Del Rosario with that Rhapsody has been doing insane amounts of damage, and a lot of these fights are done on the back of that very well-timed Death Sonata. Here we go again. Rhapsody being used by Del Rosario. It won't be enough, though, as the Slovenians try and strike back. Ooh. The Beerus Passion by Serrano oh. actually shuts down that aggression. There's a trade here. You can see that Villa Luna actually gets taken out, and the Philippines they are unfazed completely. Everything is still under control. There's two members done from Slovenia. So against three, can they actually go for the end? Ultimate has been used right here. That's another used yet again. The slow cooldown is so beneficial. And the Philippines are going to try and stalk their way. Try and find chances to end the game. Imam goes in with that burst damage. And it seems like for now, they will not be able to end the game just uh -oh, yet. Oh, maybe they can because look at that. The minion lens comes in into the bottom lane and Oracle, they, he doesn't have any defense item to hold the damage that Philippine has right now with the Supreme. So uh, the so minion comes in in the mid lane right now. I think Philippines, they are able to finish this game as soon as possible. Serrano. And Ooh. now Soriano being chased by Slovenia. Meanwhile, the Philippines, they want to target the best as soon as possible. They don't want to give more space, more time for Slovenia, but Slovenia are still able to defend their base, Arashi. They're defending their base so desperately, but the Philippines, they're playing it calculatively. They have range to work with, they have DPS to work with, and they're slowly but surely just melting down the health bars of the Slovenian players yet again. Dap Dap just kiting in and out, actually gaining HP in the process instead of losing it. That Sonata is used for oh. poke yet again, and look at that burst damage. Imam is absolutely this disgusting in this game. With four members still alive, they're doing a lot of damage and Arachiel with the Vengeance will not be able to survive either. Double kill for Imam and that might be just the game for the Philippines in game number one, showing again dominance and world-class skill. Wow, wow, wow. Philippines secure the game number one with, I can say maybe a solid draft that coming from Philippines, right? They have the early damage that's coming from the stranger and falling Dina. So, Batrix for Zoriano, he will have a lot of time to to get his item, right? To get his money. As soon as he secured the first start in the gold lane, he can do the rotation as well. Help his teammate to to join the team fight here. So, it much advantage for Philippine. Meanwhile, Slovenia is kind of a little bit passive in the early 
they because they their draft is more into the mid and the late game composition. 